Hey, what's good, everyone? It's your boy, Matt Diazzo, doing some more reviews. Thanks for coming on by. I appreciate it so much. Uh, today, I am checking out the band called Human Garbage with their latest album, The Valley's Most Hated. Or I think it's just Valley's Most Hated. Yeah. Uh, you might have noticed that this band is popping up again in on my channel because I've covered this band before. Uh, Human Garbage is a hardcore band based out of San Fernando, California, and I didn't realize it, but I got to talk to some of the members for a little bit about this album, that this album and their previous album, Straight Not Giving a Fuck, were both recorded at the same time, but were just released at different times. So this is all from the same uh, recording session from the, from the first that album that released in 2023 and this one. And... Just like that uh, that last album, they just picked up right up, like they, they just picked up right where they left off, and it's just more aggressive, pissed off, short, and just very well written with punchy drums, ripping guitars, and just super aggressive vocals. The dropping there is no dropping quality with this album and the last. They're both on par with it, one another. Nothing's better, nothing's worse. They're just equally amazing hardcore albums. With this record, they're continuing their rampage of intense, well-produced, and just straight pissed off California hardcore. And I think what really is impressive about this band is that they're able to mix raw and sloppy, like classic punk energy, but also adding that brutality of hardcore as well. It's a great combination of punk and hardcore with this uh, this band and these albums they put out recently. Uh, particularly on this tracks, uh, Straight Not Giving a Fuck, uh, Die Slow Motherfuckers, and What Unity. I think also another thing that's really cool is they incorporate a lot of uh, Mexican uh, culture into their music with either like sound clips using Spanish or it sounds like, I don't think it's mariachi bands, but like Spanish like acoustic style songs like on uh, what, uh, what Unity. They stop in the middle of the song and just add in some nice uh, acoustic uh, Mexican guitars. And I think it's really cool that they uh, are very prideful of where they come from. Not just them currently, but where their heritage is from too. So it's really cool they incorporate that into their uh, music here. And so I want to play a clip of uh, Straight Not Giving a Fuck so you can see that punk and uh, hardcore unity with this uh, band. Literally, they are not giving a fuck with this album and it sounds dope. The blend of those two genres of punk and hardcore on this album are just so well done. And because of that, you get like a non-stop raging album. And particularly like on songs like Chaos, you get really, really good like energy from the band. I feel like they're the band members are all putting like all their energy and want to put like some really good music together. So it doesn't really feel like a very half-assed album. And just like the first album, Straight Not Giving a Fuck, I think the star of this band, not saying one is better than the other, but I'm just so impressed by the drummer. He is just putting so much hard work into the kit. He is drumming like crazy. His drum patterns are ridiculous and the amount of energy he's putting into it, he's like the backbone of this. As every band, a, a, a drummer is the backbone of the band, but. He's putting in so much hard work here that I feel like the other members are going like, if not harder because the drumming is so intense. Like he makes everyone want to play harder, I think. And I just think that the drummer is bringing out the best in all of the members because the bass is hitting really hard. The riffs are just going crazy and the vocals are super, super aggressive all because I think the drummer's like way of playing is just so intense. It's pulling out the best from each member and i love how intense the drummer is but also he doesn't forget to add in some uh quick little drum fills and little moments on the hi-hats and uh, cymbals to spice things up a little bit he's an intense and fast drummer but also he's got a lot of um subtlety to him that's really cool like on the songs chaos love that i lack or no turning back the way his drumming style is it's pretty pretty dope so i want to play a clip of uh no turning back so you can get a sense of his style
super tight and it doesn't help that the production with the drums sound amazing. The guitars on this particular album are really ripping really hard and have a nice thrashy and groovy feel to it. And I feel like the bass as well has a, a lower but deeper sound than the guitars as usual, but they are also able to keep that groove and keep up with the guitars in a similar fashion, particularly on songs like Hand Over Fist, Cursed at Birth or Sad Disguise. The way that the riffs are being played here and just the bass is being played, they complement each other very well. So I'm gonna play a clip of uh, Cursed at Birth so you can get a sense of those uh, good guitars and bass being played here. Super short song that's just super, super tight with those riffs. The vocals, they're just straight fire and got like nothing but pure aggression. And I like that I think, I'm pretty sure that there's multiple guest vocalists throughout this uh, album because this seems like a very collective uh, effort from people around the San Fernando Valley. Because on the first track, uh, Problem With Me or Problem With, Problem For Me, um, it sounds like the main vocalist is at the, it starts at the very beginning, but then someone else comes in midway, has a lower register. And it's really cool because there's a, not, there's a lot of diversity in terms of the vocal styles and patterns on this uh, album. So you never really get tired of the vocals because they bring in so many different guests and just help out with the album. And I think the song SF, uh, SFV Forever has a really good sense of his aggression and raw sound. So I'll play a clip of that for you right now. So much raw energy. So after learning that both this album and Straight Not Giving a Fuck were recorded at the same time, it's not surprising that the energy level from this album and that album are on the same level. You've got some really good aggressive and pissed off songs here that all pace really well, have a very collective good feel to it, are well produced and just quite frankly, just a really, really good album. That's what you want from a hardcore punk band. They're doing everything right on this album and I can't really find too much to complain about it. And even though they are called human garbage, I would say they're a human gift to the hardcore punk scene because this is just a nice, just like, I don't say like a homage to punk and hardcore before, but it does feel like it's pushing punk and hardcore in a newer, uh, refreshing direction. And I really enjoy that. So I would say this album from Human Garbage, Valley's Most Hated, is a strong 9 out of 10. Hmm. Links down below. Check them out. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this album and other stuff. Leave some recommendations. Video over here for what's next or whatever I got going on. And like always, guys, I will see you in the pit. Yay.